What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create a section in Revit so this will be kind of a, a beginner style tutorial where I'm just going to be showing you how not only to use the section tool in Revit to create a section but also what you need to add for the model elements to have a well to have a, a section that actually looks right but if you want to see something a bit more advanced like how to jazz up a section so it looks cool like this one then I urge you to check the link in the description to that video where I show you just how to jazz up sections in Revit or in other words how to make them look really cool but anyway uh, before I get started with this tutorial I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make Revit tutorials every day and if you want to get these project files that I'm creating in these tutorials and that I'm using, make sure to support me on Patreon. First link in the description and you'll get access to all of my project files. But anyway, let's get started. So this is the project that I did. This is kind of a uh, beginner uh, 3D uh, floor plan in Revit that I created. So now we're just going to be modifying it to create a section and then just to add some elements so we can have a second floor and a roof as well. So let's go here and let's just uncheck these crop view elements uh, in our 3D view so that we don't have to see it as well as section box and hit apply. So now we are left with this kind of a basic uh, ba basic floor plan but anyway so now let's create a section so I'm just going to be going here to level 1 and let's use the section tool so you go over here up on the top of the Revit and you find this section option so you just select it and then you click once you drag it over click second time and you've got your section so this uh, these lines kinda show you the boundary of your section and this shows you the depth of your section so now if I move it over here in your section you wouldn't be able to see these walls over here and if I extend it like this now you'll be able to see those walls so that's important make sure that uh, that it that, that this uh, these two arrows are kinda encompassing the whole uh, portion of the building or your project that you want to see and this over here that you have this just flips it to the other side so if you wanna switch to the other side just hit that and these little circular arrows over here on these ends can kinda change the end of the section so this is the default uh, this is the default version but you can have well you can exchange uh, between those three or four versions but anyway so now let's see how this section looks like so just double click on this arrowhead and this is what you get so this is the section that we have and as you can see it looks well well it's not really impressive is it so for the section uh, people say you only for Revit you, you only need to know how to draw uh, floor plans and you just place a section then you have a section well it doesn't work that simply I hope it does I would hope that it would in the future but uh, for now we have to kind of model the rest of the building so what does that mean first let's extend this uh, kind of a section window extend it up a bit so we can place a second floor over here as well as a roof so how do you do that well first let's go into 3d so let's go 3d and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to be uh, copying this floor to another level and then we're just going to be modifying it a bit but before we do that we need a new level because we only have two levels and we need a few more so let's go to south elevation and here you go to this level tool or you use the shortcut LL so I'm just going to be typing LL and just place it like this so you just place a section you start from here and you drag it over to the other side and I won't be needing this fourth one but let's just leave it in anyway and uh, if, if you select this you can change the kind of the distance from the last level so let's just set it at 2.8 meters because that's what I uh, used over here and then this one we well let's delete it we don't need it okay so once we've done that now we can just select our whole uh, little floor and go here to copy then open this uh, drop menu and select align to selected levels now what this will do it will actually copy this and just copy it upwards one level so if I select level 2 hit OK as you can see now we've got two levels 
and if I go into 3D this is what we have and if we go to our section which is now on our uh, project browser you just scroll down a bit and you have this sections option and you just hit a little plus sign and you get the section you just double click on it and as you can see now we've got two levels of course we've got a kitchen up here so we need to modify that but anyway that's like the simple way to kinda multiply your floors but let's go up here and go to level 2 or sorry this is the ceiling plan let's go to floor plans level 2 and let's see over here so we've got some things that we don't really want to use so just hold the control key and then just go ahead and select everything you don't want to have so let's delete these cabinets this door that leads to nowhere now because it's in, up in the air these cabinets, this table, chair, all of these chairs, this, well, all of this. And let's hit delete, delete this thing. But as you can see, now it's only kind of grayed out. And that's because we're, we're not really seeing this. There is no furniture up on this level, but we're seeing furniture from the level below. And the reason for that is when you go here to floor plan and you go to properties panel and you search down a bit, you see this underlay option. And this basically allows you to kind of see through or underlay different views. And uh, you can just change this. So just open up the drop menu to none and hit apply. And now you can't see through the, well, through, through the floor. And anyway, so we've got this and we've got this little floor over here, but because this was kitchen, that's why we had it. Maybe we can transform this into a bathroom or something. I don't know. But anyway, let's the, the, or let's leave this room as is and then let's create another wall. So go to here to walls and let's connect it. So in the properties panel, before we start placing the wall, let's just uh, connect it to level three because it's going from level 2 to level 3. No base offset, no top offset. And for the wall, let's choose the, let's see, the generic 100, maybe that's the best one. So let's go around this bathroom, perhaps, because here we've got those tiles. And if you want to see uh, how I made those tiles, again, uh, tutorial to that, uh, a link to that tutorial is in the description. It's like uh, how to create a 3D floor plan in Revit. But anyway, let's now extend this wall, maybe like this, so we get another room over here, and let's place some doors. And for that, let's go here to door, and let's place one here, and you can just hit the space key and flip it to the other side, and place one here. Again, use the space key, flip it to the other side, place it there, Okay, so we've got something that looks, uh, well, it looks interesting. And now, perhaps, maybe we want to add a roof. Because if I open this up, as you can see, now we've got two floors that look kind of different. But we need to add a roof to kind of complete the whole section. And to do that, let's go to level 3. And as you can see, now we can't see anything except our section. That's because uh, we need to go to... Uh, view range so just type in VR view range so you can adjust what you see in this view so for the bottom of the view range just select it to unlimited as well as the view depth to unlimited and hit apply okay and now you can see all of your elements so this kind of extended how far you can see down the model when, uh, when you're at level 3 but anyway so once we've got here now let's place a roof. So for a roof, I'm just going to be doing like a basic uh, roof. If you want to learn more about roofs, there's a whole playlist I created on roofs in Revit. Again, I'm going to be leaving the link to that playlist in the description of this video. So let's open up this drop menu and let's use roof by footprint. And let's use this rectangle tool and let's give it an offset of, I don't know, 0.6 meters. I think that's enough. So you just go like this. You place it and maybe extend it a little bit over here. Let's say 0.6 for this part so it covers everything. Okay, this looks quite all right. And for the angles, yeah, let's use 30 degrees. Who cares? I mean, it's it's quite all right for this type of a roof. And as you can see, now we've got some roof, but it's being cut over here because this is a floor plan. But if I open up this section again, so just again, double click on the little bubble head and as you can see we've got our roof but here we've got a problem uh, the wall ends over here but the roof is a bit, a bit ab ab above it so we need to connect this wall to the roof and to do that you just use this attached top base and you connect it to the roof 
and there you go now it's connected but uh, you want to do that for the whole floor plan so you can either go and do it manually or the better version is to go into 3d kind of orbit around there we go so our house is looking well quite cool now so you just go like this so you can see all the walls you hover over one of them and you hit the tab key and it selects all of the walls for your floor and now you go again attach top base and you select that roof and there you go so now all of them are connected to the roof it doesn't matter how weird the shape is it will connect it uh, in a correct way so let's scroll down here in the project browser and let's go back to our section so here we go but only the exterior walls were connected now we just need to select oops we just need to select the interior walls and go to attach top base and there you go now they're connected but again here we have a bit of a problem that I think uh, could, could be corrected so the, this roof is really high it's actually the kind of the, the level height is higher at the lowest level than here in the lower level so how do you change this how do you bring this roof a bit down as you can see the roof is aligned to the uh, level 3 so it's aligned to the level at the bottom part of the of the roof so we at least want to have it aligned to this part over here maybe even more so you just go here to the base offset from level and you just type in uh, some number some negative number so I'm just going to go minus one meter I think that will be enough yeah as you can see now it looks a bit more natural you want to you want that roof to kind of come in uh, under the level because you have all this height up here you don't have to have it kind of uh, too high but anyway let's add just a few more elements that are going to make this section look really cool so the first thing I want to do is I want to add a staircase we need to go to level 2 so how do you do that well first let's go to level 1 so scroll up here find level plans level 1 and here we've got these cabinets but let's select them all again hold the control select them all let's delete them and we've got some lines over here let's delete those lines also move this door out of the way flip it to the other side and now let's place a staircase over here so you just go to stairs or stair and let's use this assembly stair I don't know I think this will work so you just go like this and you do maybe a few steps maybe three steps and then select click somewhere else kinda off to the side and do the rest of the steps and now you select this and kind of place it over here then you select this place it over there and you, what you're trying to do is you're trying to align it to the wall so that's what I'm doing over here yeah that looks that looks nice let's move this all the way up kind of like that and as you can see now it's all aligned maybe this should come in a bit yeah so this looks really nice right now okay so once we have that let's uh, let's just go hit finish and as you can see this is what we get and if we go into 3d uh, well we can't see it anywhere so the best way to see it when you're in 3d like this maybe you can select one of these walls and it kind of becomes transparent so there's our staircase now let's just poke a hole up here so we can see it from the top level so let's go to level 2 and as you can see this is where the staircase finishes but we have a problem with this room door so let's maybe delete this door maybe move this door a bit move this wall a bit and let's create another door so just go to door and place it like that okay so now let's poke a hole in the ceilings for the uh, for the staircase so what you need to do is you just need to place your uh, cursor or your mouse uh, on the outside of the wall and hit tab a few times until you get this line that kinda encompasses everything this blue line and you select it and that's the floor so now you've selected the floor and you just go into edit boundary and you select that and now let's cut over here so let's let's just create a rectangular hole first kinda like that and then let's just create a line here a line here maybe connect it yeah and now you just go with trim and extend so TR is the shortcut so you need to connect this to this this to this yeah that looks like a hole and you hit finish just hit no 
and there you go so we've got our staircase we've got a few more rooms another bathroom and we've got our roof and if we go here into this section it looks really nice and one more thing I would like to kind of turn this as you can see uh, this uh, wall it's black in this section but the roof and the floors aren't so that's something I want to fix so I'm just going to select one of the floors go into edit type and here for the graphics for the course scale fill pattern uh, let's just change it from nothing to solid fill hit ok hit apply ok and now as you can see it's solid fill and you need to do the same thing for this secondary floor that we have so just go over here solid fill ok apply ok and the same thing for the roof so let's select the roof go into edit type and let's just change this to solid fill apply ok and there you go so you've got your cool looking section in Revit your first section in Revit and let's just add some shadows because it's just really simple in Revit and I love to do it on every single project hit apply and let's just go to lighting and make them a bit lighter perhaps yeah I think this looks really cool right now so it was very simple to make and you've got a cool section it's not as simple as people think as just kind of placing a section in Revit you actually have to model the rest of the house to get a section but the good part about that is if you go here in your 3d view you're going to get a pretty decent looking 3d of course you need to modify it if you're going to do, be doing some renderings but so far so good but anyways, so that's pretty much it for this section tutorial. Wait a second, where is our section? There it is. Yeah, and if you want to learn more, of course, please subscribe, like this video, share it to your, with your friends. And if you want to get all of my project files, support me on Patreon. First link in the description. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you with another tutorial tomorrow.